In this video, I am going to explain uh, parsing JSON payload using Groovy script. So here you can open any open uh, Groovy online uh, uh, script editor. So by using that one you can execute any group script for my scenario what i did is i opened one of the editor freely available on the online uh, so place your code there and start execute so in my scenario i would like to parse my json payload what i did is i took some variable and put three single quotes and ends with three single quotes and place the payload of the json message this behaves as a one variable content so in this model i have the five uh, children's this model has five entries each entry is considered as a one uh, one size one two three four five so and uh, each child has different parameters activate uh, state id name and its value so i'm creating a slurper variable for the json as similar to the xml uh, slurp, slurper so in this case is a json slurper slurper and uh, place the payload content here and uh, as it is whatever you see in the other editors and put into the c3 single quotes so so this behaves is like a taking our content from the file now create a variable uh, pass this uh, sorry pass this payload content to the uh, slurper um, object and we can navigate to result uh, uh, variable so my variable is uh, some name i have given which is already one entry in the this is second entry in the my payload so i want to loop the entries each children's and checking where exactly this uh, model is available so in this case this model has five entries right so um, my required child children content child with variable name as akshara underscore itm so whenever that name not tick in this case i'm checking uh, it uh, exactly matches uh, that time i would like to print uh, that uh, entry parameters here i would like to print uh, uh, id as well as name right so whenever the entry model has five entries right when each entry is take the name and whenever the name equals to my required variable content name that time i would like to display those values use print println as similar to as shown here uh, for your uh, uh, requirement also to validate the content of the children thus you can search it and also for my validation uh, you can also print size so that you can understand at what level at what uh, entry that is uh, that uh, our required entry was present in the model size and also um, uh, result dot model size and uh, i value also i indicate i, indi I indicates the entry level 1 2 3 4 or 5 so i'm printing name and id and also appending these values for the name so for understanding purpose and i was supposed to record audio in previous uh, video only unfortunately i did not capture the audio so i am again capturing audio so here once i execute this one you can so at the first entry that means 0 considered as a first entry and second entry as a 1 
So we are seeing the value as a 1 that is the i entry and the total size of that model is 5. We are able to see the 5 also right. So we can thus we can parse any JSON payload uh, in open uh, in open uh, uh, groovy script editors. So this we this is very helpful for our uh, development unit test without deploying entire application on the HCI server. So this helps us uh, quick refer quick check quick validation before deploying our uh, uh, content on the server. I hope this video will be helpful for your uh, uh, future development tasks as similar to JSON parsing as well as uh, um, XML parsing. Thanks for watching this video.